What's the essence behind your, your music? Well, you know, they, they truly to make a world more diverse world because uh, this is a tradition back to the 13th century. We pass down to generation to generation. So ideal to bring the people one the stronger instrument from Africa, special West Africa come from Mandenka Jelly to give some promotion to the Western world to understand uh, how valuable African music can be. Yeah. So, um, your, your family line, um, in long time ago, in ancient days, there were like healers, traditional, um, like, sh how do you say, shamans, or mysticism behind the Korra, yeah? Do you still think this line continues today? Absolutely, yes. Uh, I have a young brother, uh, a lot of cows and learning the Korra. One, my son, too, I will teach. It will keep going. It's, uh, this is the way we came from. So we don't want to lose that value. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know? Uh, has your influences on music changed much since moving to America? Well, my influence is, uh, is a different, different way to, for making Kora. You know, these days uh, I do play Malian music. I play the traditional way, contemporary way I compose. But living in the US, he gave me the new opportunity to understand music, musical way. Since I've been there, I've been playing with uh, Donald Byrd, Randy Weston, the Taz Mahal, a lot of different jam band, uh, you know. So I've been playing chora with any kind of American music. So, you know, that gives me another credit. Not a lot of people sing that, but uh, it is uh, from jazz, Ben Allison, Roswell Rod, you know, I do a lot of blues. So <clears throat> this is another way Americans sing in a different way. So, but I'm learning that influence by living in the US. Yes. What's your message to people in Australia? What, what, what would you like to say? Well, my message, you know, this is first of all, I, myself, I'm here. That's a great thing for Australia. And uh, I hopefully they they be open to uh, open door for the a uh, lot of diverse culture, it will make it the country more grateful and more understanding about work. Yeah. What does sustainability mean for you? Well, it's, it means... <coughs> oh, that, that means that mean a lot of things, you know, to, to be in this far away of the world and uh, this big, beautiful farmland trying to see the Kora music. I think it's uh, something... It's, People have to be blessed about it, you know, because he opened themselves, he gave them different spirit, and they, that spirit is a good spirit, because any spirit make you thinking far away to have a dream, in create, in help your spirit to have more creation. So this is the festival. I appreciated them for having that kind of musicians and trying to make a world a diverse place. Javate. We are Pitt Street Festival. Uh, you are watching Street TV station. Thank you for having me. Hope to see you next time.